An attack on land is one thing, but coming across or indeed from the water is another matter, an immense skill that needs continual refresher training. This is off the coast of the Croatian city of Split. US Navy SEALs and their counterparts from the Croatian Special Forces are on the attack. Hijackers have taken a ship. The mission in this part of their joint training is first to board the vessel, then track down the hijackers, retake the ship, and therefore end the threat. After the exercise, a chance for both teams to give and receive feedback as they review the mission. The advantage of these exercises with our strategic partners is the exchange of experiences. We have some experience and knowledge from our fields of activity, our missions and areas of interest. Also, our strategic partner, the American security forces, which have their own arrangements around the world, and the experiences they gain there, they bring to our joint exercises. Thus, there is an exchange of experiences where, in a way, their experience also exists, and vice versa. So we develop various types of abilities and possibilities. The next phase of the training sees both the US Navy SEALs and Croatian Special Forces use the depths to aid their assault operation in the water rather than on it. The Croatian armed forces are ready and willing to take their share of the burden and responsibility in collective defence, both of the alliance, allies and partners. It's unusual to get such a candid glimpse of special forces training, especially featuring covert operators from two countries. It certainly seems to illustrate cooperation and joint working at this more secret end of NATO operations. Tim Cooper, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.